So the Blue Jays, if you missed the series opener, they got off on the wrong foot with a game one loss. So Heidi, how are they feeling now headed into game two? Well, Matt, game one obviously didn't shake out the way they hoped, but several of the players told me that one game is not enough to shake their confidence. If they can play well and do the little things right and even up the series today, they feel like they'll be in good shape heading into a best of three scenario for the rest of this round. Leading off for the Yankees, the first baseman, Luke Boyd. First pitch on its way. Aye. And a curveball in for a strike. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. The wind-up and the 0-1. Sinker, and this one's over as well. Nothing in two now. Oh and two, here it comes. That's a that misses one and two. Well, this is an approach we've seen him use effectively lately. Set up the inside and then get him out with pitches away. And a good yeah. sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually now pitching is all about mixing field. pitches and location. But he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row. So I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Stepping in now, Aaron Hicks. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Here comes the one two to Hicks. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. The 2-2 two -two is laid off and the count runs full. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Line to the right side, but foul. No, that's a foul ball. no runs, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Finally puts him away here as he strikes him out after an 11 pitch at bat. And so with two away now, let's now give you another look at our playoff base. bracket as Miguel. you see what could lie ahead and for the winner off. in this series. So bases are empty here with two gone and striding into the plate. It'll be Miguel Andujar. 
first pitch on its way. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Ball and one. there's ball one. I got one ball, one strike. On its way is pitch number 75. Count is two and sinker one. misses that time, and it's two and one. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. And it misses three and one now. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even got himself into a good hitter's count now. A dive, but it's off his glove. And he'll get in there safely. Boy, d -Row, this looks like one of those easy now, one, two, three Second innings. Eight. Next thing you know, a little okay. swinging ground ball LeMay. and a two-out infield base hit. Yeah, it's never too late, and you never know when a rally's going to start. It seemed innocent early on. He got two quick outs, but now we see traffic at first. Here's the second baseman, D.J. Mayhew, and he puts it on the ground to second. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now hey, batting. Back to back What's two that? out hits right now. This pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on the board. Here's Didi Gregorius as he'll send a ground ball down to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. But the recovery throw will be in time to first. A good job that time of not giving up on the play, and the inning is over. Home half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score. Stepping in for the Jays, Robbie Tellens. A base the hit in his first hitter. trip. This Number game is 44. rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Ball one to start the at-bat. The 1-0. Fires the zone, strike one. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. That's a real tough pitch to hit. That's as, in the pitcher's jargon, we call that the Hall of Fame pitch, that slider down and in. Really, the only way you're going to be able to hit that pitch is if you're looking for it down and in, and still then, it's a really difficult pitch to hit. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. The one two lifted the other way down the left field line and this will wind up a foul ball. The next one two pitch. And drive base hit into the left center field gap. Around first he's digging for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. That was pretty obvious in now line action that that First ball was hit man. hard. And after analyzing it with our show track technology, Mo. we see that our eyes did not deceive us. 114 miles an hour was the exit below. An impressive swing of the bat. Here's Justin Smoke now. In past meetings with Tanaka, he's got three base hits in 30 at bat. Kevin Bullock will come on Number now and pinch run here. Kevin! 
Galar. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A ball and no strikes. One oh. Oh, wild pitch, but the catcher is able to knock it down. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to two and zero. Oh. Pilar stands at second with no outs. A bullet to first base, and the runner gets back. No double play. Now batting second baseman. So we're on second with one down now. Rather. And that'll bring up Devin Travis. Here's the first pitch to him. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Oof, and it's safe to say he doesn't look all that comfortable up there. 0 oh, 2 now. After that swing, you just got to reset yourself. You still have a strike to work with, and you, you can't be thinking about how silly you just looked on that last pitch. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Ball and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Now Next to bat for Toronto, Luis McGuire. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and zero. Love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball. I know he hit the last guy, but if he's going to have success, he's got to establish that pitch in. Now the 1-0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. The 1-1 home. Grounded up the first baseline. But uh, this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Throw to third. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. The center fielder, number six. Billy, it's Billy Hamilton standing in. Hamilton. Past meetings with Tanaka. He's three for 15. First offering on its way. The hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Bunt attempt here, but this will be foul, so the runners will stay put for now. Now before the next pitch, time is called at home plate as he'll step out. Deal, and deal, deal. Runner breaks for the plate. And a late squeeze attempt, and it looks like it's going to work. And he will apply the tag himself, and the inning is over. Here's big Aaron Judge. The right fielder. Infield in the down. overshift here. Now Aaron. the pitch. Hit to Go. short. Galvis has it. Throw to first Go. gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting. The left fielder. Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton now. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. 
Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. A ball and a strike. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. One out, nobody on. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. The short hit hard. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Sometimes you get lucky in this game. I don't think pitch recognition wise now he would choose to swing at that exact pitch. Labor. But you know what? Torres. Sometimes result is the only thing that matters. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Oh, as he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Hey. Called strike at the knees. One and one. The set and the 1-1 one -one pitch. Smoke toward the hole. That's through and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting. You That's know, as a former infielder, Gary. Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at once, but you got to be a little frustrated right here that that ball found the hole. Yeah, that's a tough thing. You make a quality pitch, and a guy shoots one through the right side, normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times, somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately, not. And now we've got a couple of guys on. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. As he takes a cold strike oh at the knees, it's 0-1. He's one for two in this one. In the dirt, and now let's see. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. So now two men in scoring position. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. That sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble three and one. I know this team has been struggling offensively, but here's a perfect situation with a three one count. You have a chance to do some damage. You know you're getting a guaranteed fastball. Set. Here's the 3 1. And that's in there on the hands. 3 and 2 now. This is a situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job. Take inventory, infield back, get you a ground ball somewhere in the infield, preferably off the corners, and get your team to lead. And he misses Up with it. Ball Yankees. 4. So that'll the load the bases. Base. And now he's really going to need to get a Four. ground ball. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Here comes a Toronto skipper out toward the pitcher's mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. So he'll leave in a tie ball game but he's also responsible for the three men on base and he'll need some big time help here to preserve a no decision. Ladies and Norris has called upon the please. pitch, really needing that now double play ball. The Bases are loaded here with only Number one man 20. out. But Norris. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Count this one's one outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. This is a tough spot in the game right here, but when you're a veteran pitcher and you've seen these kind of situations throughout your career, you step back, you make quality pitches, and you trust you'll wiggle your way out of it. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. Oh, 
And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Now that this has pretty much been a pitcher's duel so far. Aaron. So any way yeah. you can score a run in a sack fly right there brings home the first run of the game here in the middle innings. Digging in now for the Yankees, Aaron Hicks. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Oh, and one the count. Comes set, the 0 1. Fouled off. Torres on second, Sanchez at first, two out in the inning. Popped up. And he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. Up for the Yankees. You know, Gabriel, as a pitcher, that could be so frustrating. You're yeah. taught to try and go out there at and Dubai. make quality pitches. And that was a really good pitch. And I would be willing to bet you he's surprised that that turned into an infield single. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's smiling. That hitter smiling, running down first base, knowing he's got an infield single right there. He has no business. He'll line out probably 15 times, but it won't even out. You take him when you can get him. Hey, I love the aggressiveness right here and wanting to be a hero. But this is where you got to tell yourself to relax a little bit. I had an old coach tell me one time, when the bases are loaded, just concern yourself with getting the guy in from third. Hey. Two and two now. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Yeah, we're full. And this misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full three and two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. The tag. At the plate, Freddie Galvis. And Dan he and his fellow Leading top of the order hitters Toronto. haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. Ready. You know, your one, two, three guys Galvis. are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. He offered it that pitch out of the zone there, and I think that's a result of the previous pitch getting called against him. He might feel like he's needing to expand the zone if that's how it's going to be called. Blue Jays shortstop with a 1 and 2 count. The 1 2. Misses for the second ball. Skied in the air to straightaway left. On the move is Stanton. He's there and records the first out. Third baseman, number three. One out now in Brandon. the Toronto sixth inning. And Rory. In next, it'll be Brendan Drury. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. The windup and the 0-1. Tough out. to do much with that one, a swing and a miss. Yeah, Matty, he's had these guys on a proverbial rocking horse all night. Changing speeds, hitting every quadrant. He's tough to hit. Now a slider well off the plate. An easy take there. Popped up. Boyd in foul ground. And that's the second out of the inning. The right fielder, number 15. Randall. Here's Randall's Richard. Richard. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Judge ranging back on the warning track. He makes the catch. One, two, three, go. The Your David attention, Phelps please. is on to pitch from the bullpen now, now to start inning number seven. Number 35. 
Davis. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Go. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Yeah, Maddie, he's very late on that first pitch. I, I, I got to think he was guessing off speed. Fouled away. One and two One to DJ LeMay here. Pitch is popped up. Drury calls for it. Oh, what happened there? It falls in. Boy, when things are good, How things bad? are going. Swinging on infield single the right there for his third knock of the game, d -Row. Yeah, he has to be feeling frisky right now. He's had two great at-bats, and then this one, he's 100% on fire. Getting an infield single for his third knock of the game, that's awesome. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. LeMahieu aboard here at first with nobody out. Yankee nope. shortstop behind in the count one and two. Decided to go with a fastball there on 0 and 2, but what he's trying to do with that pitch is to expand the strike zone. Maybe you get a guy to offer at it, but at the very least, it helps set up your off speed stuff. Still one and two as he fouls it away. The one two misses ball two. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. And it's fouled away. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. And now this will be the 10th pitch of the at-bat. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. We have no preferential right treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their balls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Aaron Judge comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. and the, the first strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2-1 home. Hit hard to the right, but foul. The 2-2. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single eight. into scoring position. The left fielder. He had clearly no problems Got working out the stretch right now, Matt. Yeah. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. First pitch of the at-bat. There's a swing, and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. Looking up is Hernandez. And this one is gone. A home run. I think if this pitch would have been a little higher and in on his hands, it would have been effective. But he now left this one belt high. Big hitter. mistake. He's Labor. a guy that will feast on Four. belt high pitches on the inner half, which is pretty obvious now. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's the 0 1. This is foul right side. Might have been cheating for another fastball, trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string. Swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do.
So that will bring in Teoscar Hernandez. No Leading off to this for the point. Day. It doesn't look very promising fielder. so far in this one day as off, we sir. move into the later innings. Hernandez. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Judge is there, one away. Now batting, the designated hitter. Now the designated hitter, Kevin oh, oh. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. And this is off the corner and low, ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Do you take your chances in this situation as a hitter? knowing he's just missed outside two pitches in a row and dive a little bit and try and drive something in the opposite field. Throw on to first, two gone. Now that Digging first in once base again, base. Justin Smith. A strikeout and a lineout Mo. for him so far. Nope. Below the oh. knees, one ball, no strikes. Hit hard to the right. Foul. A 1 1. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1 and 2 hole. Two out, nobody on. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Guide down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Is laid off him for ball number three. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Stanton giving chase. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Eighth inning coming up. The Into the box Leaking now, off. Gary Sanchez. The he enters this at bat, one for two with a walk. Fastball in there for a called strike. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Now the one and one pitch it is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. 